I am really curious where we're gonna find this one other collectible here. <laughs> I feel like I've done a pretty good job of searching up and down when we first came through this little ravine. And I honestly don't know how we're gonna find anything else. I guess it's possible. It is possible that something is back behind. Uh, it's not like I can get up stuff like that. All right, where, where does this officially start? Here. So this is nothing. And we got a collectible here. But it's not like I can get up that. At least I don't think I can. I assume that I cannot. Maybe this is a situation kind of like with the area we were just at. Where they have like a weird wall run somewhere that I can check on the map. If, you know, if you know what you're looking for. But honestly, like, maybe there's a seed? No, there wouldn't be a seed, right? So this was one of the collectibles. Oh, hello, my friend. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him with that. Sure, that works. Shooter! Come on, what's up with that? <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, we definitely collected this. Right, so we got the stim from there. Um, this whole area is still a part of this. But as soon as we transition over there, it's something new. Okay. So where the heck is this other collectible? If I look up, am I seeing anything? No. All right. My assumption then. Ready yourself for combat. Oh, it's that stupid thing. Drop kicked you, bastard. <laughs> Good find, Cal. That's really funny because I don't remember seeing that the first time. It's possible that I did. You can review the footage. Go back to that episode long ago. Like 20 episodes ago or something. Maybe longer than that. Where I, I went there and maybe I fought that thing and it just ran away. I was not expecting a little robot. Okay, that makes more sense why we couldn't find it the first time, sir. All right, so that's now two of two. You know what? This is, again, this is feeling good. You know, we got... We got the 1919, we got the five, we got the 10, um, we got the three, where was the other one? Oh, the, the cave, right? Two, so now we just need to find nine over here. That seems a little ridiculous. Where am I gonna find nine things? I guess it's possible something's down there. BD might um, scan if I go down there. I think I tried that though, when we first came through. So we just gotta be prepared that that may not be the case. In fact, I think the preparedness needs to come from understanding just how much wall running I may have to do here to find stuff. If I go all the way up here, is there anything? No, okay. There's that whole like cave area there though that I just haven't been. So it's possible it's off over there, but like this wall looks suspicious you know what i mean I'm looking at this wall going it looks like i could jump on this stuff so uh no okay it's, it's not gonna let me if the developers put their little invisible wall there then that tells you everything you need to know that is not something i can get up uh and i don't think that is either but we may as well check just real quick i'd rather check and know for sure that there's nothing there cool then then come and check and feel real silly i guess it's possible i can wall run up there i'm gonna say no though so if that is the case um we have the hanger 100 right three out of three um archive is 11 so we got that there was there a side quest here no she's down the place there feels different now it does Much feel blood different has been shed in this desert and more will so long as the empire remains um, there's one I'm missing in the passages, which we could see where it's at. So I guess, I guess we just assume that the other collectibles I'm going to get are up there. And that's where that, that thing is going to be. So let's go ahead and jam. Okay. See you later, Marin. Been nice knowing you. But now we must descend. I'm kind of liking this more methodical approach that we're taking to finding all these collectibles, which is that we are, you know, going one little tiny zone at a time in progression of when we came in and figuring it out that way. Honestly, uh, that's probably what I'm going to do for Kobo when we go back there. 
I'm just going to start at the front and work my way through it. So like where we initially landed with the mantis when it was all broke. Can I, I, I know you want me to be able to go in there. But the, the shattered moon will be a lot easier to do that with because we've already collected like 90% of the stuff. I think there's just maybe one or two areas that I've missed. Like the spot with the giant laser beam cannon thing. I've missed stuff in there. I remember that. And then there was a spot with like all the wall runs towards the beginning that I missed. I think outside of that, I've pretty much gotten all of it. So that one's going to be an easy one to clear. Oh man, I hate this door. I always forget about this damn door. I'm going to double check here though. I want to make sure that we have indeed gotten 11. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then there's just the one thing up over here and then we can move on to the next area. It's the next area that we're going to be able to get the unlock for, for the, uh, the upgrade, but it requires, you know, a little bit of work. Also, how many of these scrolls have I collected? Oh, that's going down. Can I go buy some stuff? Let us exchange. Uh, I have eight. Yeah, I could buy some stuff. I have all the materials. I think I think I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase Could that. Use this. A wise choice. And that. Farewell, Outlander. I fully expect that by the end of Jetta, just based on the amount of collectibles here, I will have enough to buy everything. Actually, that's my expectation for all of the collectibles. Is the door down here? Yes, it was. How do I open? It says green. Is it? Is it like a cable thing? Do I follow the cables? No, probably not. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe I am following the cables. Is it? Does it go in here? No. No, this wouldn't make any sense, right? No, it's definitely in that door. How the heck do I open that door? If it's green, does that not mean that it's just going to open up? Or do I have to like go into the wall here? No, it's just a weird light. Why? Why you no open? Hmm. Interesting. So, how the heck do I get in there? That is a mystery. One that I feel like should be easily solved, but I don't understand why that door is not open. And I don't see any things nearby to open it. All right, you know what? One last try. So I, today I'm going to utilize my searching capabilities a little quicker than before, just to kind of ramp up this, the, the speed of this stuff. So I'm going to give it a good shot to try to find everything on my own. But if I can't, then you know, I'll just move on. Yeah, can't do anything with that. All right, well, that would, that makes sense. The only way that I could possibly I want to try something. Where, will I be able to? Crap. <laughs> nope. Okay. There's no way up there through there. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and search it then. We'll figure out how to get in that door. Oh my goodness. I just figured that out. <laughs> okay. I... I thought for a second that um, it was going to be a little more complicated than it was, but it's not. All right, let's get this. So you just push the balls back to the original spots. Let's get you the scrapyard pom uh, pommel. I think the confusing thing with that, I believe, is that the, the door when you first come in here, it just requires a one of them to be pushed to open it. And you have to do them both backwards in order to get that bottom door to open. I think that's how it works. And I think this one is already pushed forward when you do it. Okay, so that one is now three out of three. Good. Um, three out of three all the way there. So then this one is five out of 24. I think what I'm gonna do here is head out this direction. Um, it's possible I'll be able to get up to the spots over there. So we're gonna go out this way. Uh, yeah, I see a thing open there. 
And I believe we went that way before. Yeah, so that's the way to go out, but this is now open. For us to go this way. I think this is where... Oh, maybe not. I was thinking that this was a different area than it actually is. Can I talk to any of you nerds? No? They're just hanging out. Got their guns. Was there anything in here when we explored it? It's, it's funny because like this door just doesn't exist on the map. Very odd. All right. Pushing forward. I believe I can take this elevator. Or not. So how do I get the elevator to come down? So that's going to be a shortcut then. So in order to get up there. Oh my goodness. We have to like go explore all that way. All right. That's fine, my nerds. Let's do it. <laughs> Marin shows up for a brief moment and then just disappears again. Thanks, Marin. <laughs> can I grab onto this? I don't think I can, right? I mean, it definitely looks like it. They need it a, just slightly more obvious Leave when the there are actually things for you to... For to, to blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? For, to grab onto. Uh, that's where we were at before, but that's three out of three, so I'm not worried about that. There is a thing off over here. So I don't think I can actually get up that at this point. Uh, it's possible I need to use this lat that's sitting here. Maybe? Does it not let me pass that? That's odd. All right, let's go ahead and lock ourselves in. Let's, let's just save it here. Back it out. Um... I could go that way, but again, I want to go this left way. Also, there's like stuff down here and we can explore all of that. That's going to get us a bunch of collectibles, I think. Um, do I want to take care of the ATST? Probably not. Can I just run along this edge rather than jumping on the mount? Oh yeah, totally. Let's do that. <laughs> the mount is useful to some degree, but... Also perfectly fine for us. Oh yeah, you know what? I, I just flash back here. I remember coming this direction and looking and being like, whoa, this is like really open. There's a lot here and just deciding, nope, let's just go towards the mission. <laughs> Came back to this later. Oh, look at those AT8 uh, SCs. They're kissing. It's very cute. <laughs> They're making baby chickens. What do we get? Commander materials. Oh, that's cool. I actually really like that. Um, I got something down there, so I probably should bounce down there. That's totally fine. And that's like one whole thing over there for us to do. If I just hop here... Does that unlock this other part of the map? No, I actually have to like... Drop into this, right? Why is it still undiscovered? Come on! Come on! Come on! Did it do it? It did it. Okay. Oh, this this is actually a whole different area than this. All right. I I was expecting it to be all the same thing just because we have so many collectibles to get. And it seems like it would be the same. And I should probably have the expectation that there's more than one thing down here to get. Oh. Hello, friends. Yes, go, Marin. I'll kill the Krabby Boys. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get screwed. <laughs> Down. Bad puppy. Can we do that again? Cool. No, oh, no, don't do don't do that. Oh, there's still a crab. We gotta get the crab down first for sure. Come on. Hit me. Don't go for that third attack. I'm gonna get locked in there if I do. Yes, tank it, Marin. Beautiful. Beautiful. Over, but that won't be the last of them. I wonder if one must possess the force to enter these holy sites. These sands hold the wisdom of all those who walked them centuries ago. Remarkable. This was worth the journey, my friend. The Pilgrims of Jeddah. Pilgrims on Jeddah talk about rumors of Jeddah. <laughs> Wow, you, you guys really That's phoned it. that one in, huh? <laughs> Give me the XP. 
That's like embarrassingly phoned in there. I get it, not everything needs a giant paragraph, you know. It, it's totally fine. Skill point acquired. All right, well that gives us what, an extra three here, yeah? Yeah, so now we're at nine out of 24 and there's obviously a bunch of stuff here too, so I'm okay with that. But I think um, we're gonna have a lot of collectibles over there and this seems all like the desert ridge. So I think, um, I, I mean, honestly, I probably could just completely avoid. Are there mounts over here? I'm just gonna take a quick peek. I think I have to go pretty far back to get a mount. I'll just run. Uh, I just can completely avoid the ATSs. Unless like I desperately have to kill him for a, a collectible. I don't, I don't see the point. It's just not worth the time. All right, there's a door there we can get into because of our dash. I guess the mount's over here. Can I, can I hop up this? Cool. All right, let's see. What's in, oh, there's a freaking rift. Oh my goodness, I hate these things. <laughs> I mean, the last one wasn't so bad, right? Let's, we gotta give it credit. The last one wasn't so bad. Let's find out what this holds. Is this gonna be like three ATSTs? No, okay, you know what? I'll take it. Another, another, uh, platforming thing. Oh my goodness, I lost it there. I saw where I needed to go and I just lost it. That's gonna take a lot of focus. Right, here we go again. Oh, I whiffed it just by like a centimeter. Is that a Venator down there? Oh yeah, there's like all these like... I didn't really notice that before. Was that in the other one? It had to have been. Oh my goodness, that thing kills you. <laughs> I clipped it. Okay. Yeah. No, I did. I did go through it, game. <laughs> I did go through it. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's gonna be like the other one where it's just like trial and error, and then we nail it. That was odd. It kind of caught me on that. That was very weird. Oh my goodness! I missed the double jump. Hmm. To double jump onto the bars is how you get to it. I gotta stay high, I think. I whiffed that. I went too early. Uh, I'm getting impatient with it is what it is. But yeah, you definitely need to double jump onto that bar. The higher that you could stay there. What? Come on. <laughs> the higher that you could stay there, I think the better. Probably could go earlier than what I'm doing here. I know saying that after I've just ran into the issue of being too early, but like, I'm feeling so low. Oh, oh my goodness, I didn't consider that I had to use my double jump. I went to go use it again, and that's what screwed me up there. Okay, here we go. I'm a weird start, but it, it'll do. Okay, sure, I <laughs> landed on it. But you know what? It put me in a high enough spot. All right, this is a great little pause. So we're gonna go now. Onto this. Okay. Oh, this is odd. This is really odd. <sighs> I'm gonna have to time this. Oh, okay, so it resets. It resets, good, good, good. So I have to time it with the fact that we've got this thing here. Oh my goodness, how do I even handle this? Did I do it? Oh my goodness, Marin. <laughs> I forgot about these. I'm glad they reused it, it's really cool. What, this is still going. How is this? Still going. <laughs> uh, that was fun. I'll take it. That one was really fun. Cool. 
That did the trick. Yeah, I'll take that. So where was this other one? Um, down here. I just push the rocks out of the way or something. Yeah. Yep. Easy peasy. Is there? Oh, more of these guys. All right, I was hoping to hit the other one, but that's fine. Totally fine. What do we got? Echo? Is that an echo? Yeah. What do you see, kid friend? This galaxy is in chaos. I seek clarity of mind. Hmm. We share a purpose. The Empire destroyed my home. All I have is what little wisdom I possess. <laughs> Let's travel together then. It is a long road to Pilgrim Sanctuary. Oh crap, there's dudes out there. Pilgrimage. Pilgrims discuss why they made the long journey to Jeddah. Basically, pilgrims discuss why they pilgrimed. <laughs> Thanks, game. Wow, I just blew them up. What's with this lat doing here? Oh, hey, you. Okay, sure, that works. Oh my goodness. What's shooting at me now? Such a waste. <laughs> Thanks, Marin. Your insight is just the best. <laughs> Can I get on this? How you doing back there? Enjoying the ride. Just sticking to the whole concept of I don't necessarily feel like I need to collect all this stuff. Mm, there's still a 209. I think I'm gonna head backwards this way. You can do it. And now we got some split ATSTs over here, so I don't have to worry about this one. <laughs> the double. I'm not sure if that was intended or not either. So consider. Is that something I can get easy. up from here? Because this is where we did the thing with Seer. Let's, let's assume not. Cause it is fairly dark. Well, I don't know though. Cause like, that's where we get the thing from. That's, that's how we go down. Whether or not we can actually get back up there. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess it's a huge possibility that that is the case. That we can get up there and there's more collectibles. It's also possible there's stuff up on that little ridge. Um, let's just give it a once over, right? Cause we got this little cave here. We got that cave in there. Good luck. What is this head? You're not coming. This you should do on your own. Oh, is this a bossy poo? Okay. I don't know if I want to do that just this moment. Oh, come on, Marion. You don't want to help me. You're just abandoning me. <laughs> <sighs> There's definitely a boss room there though. Also, is that a part of the same? Might be. So if I've got collectibles there, which I'm sure I do, and it's going to be locked behind whatever boss it is. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably like a giant scorpion. That would be, uh, be my assumption. Let's get this though. This is definitely going to come in handy if I have to ever go back down there. Are there any collectibles up here? Weird little light thing going on. Okay, I guess not. I guess there's an, oh, no. How do we get to that? Oh, interesting. What? Why is there a wall run there? Okay, so if we get up there, we're gonna find more stuff. Where does this wall run take us? Okay, so I can hop up this to get to this. Oh, new music track. Wow, is that the first music track we've unlocked? It might be. Uh, okay, I see the wall run now. So in order to get to that, I have to go this. And then slide down. Bam. This has been here for a long time. It puts us at four of nine. Actually, that's pretty good progress right there. Let's go take out this boss or whatever it is. Um, can I get up that? Is there anything up that? There might be. It It's suspicious looking, right? It looks kind of like it's there. 
to have something on top of it. You know, in video games, when you, you just see an object in the environment and you're like, that is, that is for me. That, that's what that little rock here looks like. Looks like I should be able to get up there. All right, whatever this boss is, I'm going for it. We got some birdie birds. Is that another Rancor? Golden, oh yeah, it is a scorpion. Okay. Hello, sir. Oh my goodness, he is golden. They weren't kidding. I attack from this side. No, don't drop kick the idiot. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. That was a lot of free attacks. It was really easy to do. No, stop drop kicking, Cal. Back it up. Back it up. Heal it up. Quick, help. Okay, this doesn't actually damage his um, health like other bosses does. Now, I have injured its arm. Something to consider. Can I pop him down? I'll just attack him here. Oh my goodness, that did a lot of damage. Help, please. And I, he takes reduced damage if I'm attacking like that. So that's why I feel like it might be better. Throw him on the ground. Come over here and hit him here. Like we did before. Yeah, baby. The golden Greeton. Uh, Jedi's harsh climate forces its residents to either adapt or die. The Golden Screeton uh, has taken this to extremes. Greater skill, or greater still than the already fearsome Scritron. Scritron, I can't say that. Uh, this apex predator strikes harder, moves faster, and lasts longer than almost any other beast on the planet, earning it a fearsome reputation. That was pretty easy. I did kind of cheese it unintentionally and then intentionally after I realized what I could do just like getting caught on his little claw there but that was nice it's it's free attacks you know give me the xp we're gonna be up to like four. Oh no new perk unflinching okay um where is it uh, perks it's unflinching wow we have a lot of perks we have not gotten yet that's kind of insane Duration. Where is it? Unflinching. No interruption. Absorb one hit when charging the blaster without being interrupted. Ooh, that's pretty good, but that's still not quite good enough for for the rancors. Because I really don't want to be hit at all <laughs> during that. And if I'm getting hit, I'm going to die, really. That's what it boils down to. We're at five of nine. That's feeling pretty good. Uh, but this little path of restoration is its own area. So I could go look here. I think this is all technically the desert ridge. Oh no, it says arid flats. So maybe not, maybe not. Hmm. All right, let's, let's head back this way. Maybe my mount's still there and we can head south a little bit. Try to see if there's any buddies down there. Eat, oh, there we go. How did it go? It's done. Couldn't help though. I mean, it wasn't like hyper difficult. It could have helped. <laughs> it would have actually made it a lot easier. There's some out over there, but I left this guy here. Yeah. Come here, my friend. Sit inside saddle. <laughs> it does look a little silly. Uh, let's avoid these nerds. I don't want to fight them. Can I, can I just hop up this so I don't have to climb it? Yeah. There we go. Nifty. We got anything here though? Also, this those Imperials are like... Oh, come on. Did I not kill him still? <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh, he went on a wild ride there before the end of his life. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. <laughs> it's like 
pull him, expecting him to just kind of like get pulled just a teeny bit, right? And then like fall to his death. Doesn't fall to his death. And that's really awkward because then he's sitting there. So then I push him down. Still doesn't fall to his death. Now he's like getting his gun out. He's like, what the hell? Right? He's like, he's all in to kill me. Do not be frustrated if the path is unclear. Failure. And then, uh, uh, yeah, and then I just pull him back up and kill him. <laughs> N.O. Cordova invites others to follow his path as he explores he Jeddah's desert. Teacher. One, even an old man like myself, has much to learn from. Oh, what's all in there? I'm with you, Cal. Yeah. Uh, you know, I really wanted to attack the crabs. I got locked onto him, and then it just wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't change. But then I just went for it. Oh, still a crab. Are you kidding me? Give me some force back. Oh, he got me with the last one. There we go. That was so unnecessary. Not bad, Jedi. But awesome. <laughs> Is there seriously nothing in this little cave? Can I get up the walls, maybe? Doesn't really look like it. There's a ball up there. So how do I get further? Okay, I can I kinda see. Um right, well. Can I sneak through here? Is that something? No, it's just kinda open. Alrighty, there was uh, a bunch of dudes and didn't really need them. I wonder if I can double jump. Let's try this. And push that. Maybe that works. Because you know the room is not just there for no reason, right? It exists for a reason. I just don't know what for. Oh, and I can totally climb this. Okay, so it knocked that out, but what's the point? Oh, is it like changing this around? So now it's, instead of going down, it can actually go up? Is that what it is? That that might be exactly what it is. Okay. Um, puts me down there. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and climb up this. Or not. <laughs> can I not climb up this? Come on. Come on, Cal. Okay, he can't do it. He can't do it. It's fine. How long have you been on active duty? Not as long as you. What's your point? Trying to be here. That's the way to take care of those guys. That feels nice. Okay, now we can push this. Oh yeah, I see, I see. It is changing it. Okay. <laughs> but what was the point of that? All, all right. Okay. Yeah. No, I guess we'll just expect that something has changed. <laughs> what does this do? Can I grab that? Maybe I have to get over there. No, cow. Okay. You just like really whiffed that, buddy. No, not more of you guys. There's like. Okay, here, let's heal up. I would actually really like to kill these guys first. No flamethrower. Bad flamethrower. Alright, her turn. Wow, getting that droid completely knocked out of this fight. So overpowered. You caught me. I'll take it. Too much for you. <sighs> Bounty hunter defeated. Cool. Everyone has a plan until black find something. Haxian brood bounty droid. One arm of the Haxian's brood's underworld activity is the trade of illegal droid parts. Some of those parts, rather than being sold 
uh, on are funneled into the construction of droids with as much zeal for the brood as any organic. Heavily built and programmed to be overconfident, they will often, excuse me, taunt their enemies even as the blaster bolts fly. Sure. <laughs> it worked. Uh, that's going to be the easiest way to get back up there, honestly. I don't know. Can I? Okay. I definitely can do that. Which will swap those out. Which feels very unnecessary. Wait, didn't I already swap some things out? Maybe I got to go back in there and re-swap. Maybe it changed something on the outside here? Honestly, nothing makes sense right now. I thought that's what swapped when I pushed the ball earlier. It's really annoying that I have to run all the way back up this, not gonna lie. This is like a really out of the way thing. Just to be able to jump back up here. Actually, I think I might be able to skip going to the right, yeah. Uh, which then allows us to come over here. And... Yeah, I don't quite know what the point of that is. Oh my goodness, I almost missed that. My sincerest appreciation to those who have tread this path before me. In time, I hope this effort enables me to see Jedha as they once did. This galaxy is in turmoil, and we need the wisdom of those who came before us. Okay, uh, voice to the past. Eno Cordova speaks to those who came before him. A simple uh, contrition for being unable to better understand their ways. Oh, hello! Get wrecked. <laughs> I'm gonna start using the force pull on the normal guys when they're just alone like that. It's way easier for me. Wanderer material. Feeling pretty good, actually. I, I like getting all this material stuff. Alright, so what is this gonna do for me? It's gonna allow me to go up there. Sure. So I can... Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Go up this way. Ow. Get Rex, son. Oh, I'm totally out of force. Sure, that works too, though. <laughs> wow, that, that last attack delay is insane. Yeah, let's hear it. No, bad droid. Ah, I got locked into that attack. Hey, don't kick me. Bad droid. No. Get dead. That's the end of them. All right, what do we got here? An echo. Fascinating. I spent a lifetime unearthing the mysteries of the Zephyr. And now an abundance of lost knowledge awaits me. Oh, a staggering proposition. This galaxy is too vast for one mind for a single lifetime, but I find it exhilarating. What a joy to know that when my footsteps disappear into the sands, others will take my place. Okay, so... Master's realization. Eno Cordova finds deeper understanding of his past quests as he digs deeper into a new one. Yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eno is cool. Whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> what happened to my ball up here? Where did it go? Did I accidentally pull it when I pulled the, the trooper? It's possible. Pushing this does what? Lowers that. Which does what? Oh, must be connected. Yes, I believe you are right. Oh, this is one of the th three or four things I need to do. Right, I remember now, in order to get the unlock, the upgrade. Give it to me, XP. New perk slot acquired, holy crap. I didn't even know you could get perk slots from that. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I can't change perks out until I get to a thing though. You know what? 
That's that's fine. Now that I know, I don't think there's anything up on this. And you know what? Path of Restoration. We're at five out of five. What was the point of going in there? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh no, I was just <laughs> fell to my death. <laughs> Did it like open up something down here in this spot? When I open that? No, no, un unlock, unlock, buddy. Get off the wall, Cal. <laughs> Thank you. Cause like, oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe I made that jump. There is something mildly confusing here. Because I threw that that way. I see a glowy thing up there, so it makes me think that we're not done here yet, right? It says five out of five, though. I think this got closed when I did that or something. But what's the point? I think that helped. But what? Okay, but what did it help? Uh, we gotta figure out what is changing with this ball rolling around. This is the one thing that I'm unsure of. Is what is being messed? Oh, oh. Okay, let's get back up there real quick. I don't think that there is a collectible up there though, right? But I had to have done that in order to do all the rest to get the ball up to the top. So. You know, mission accomplished, I suppose. But like, what is the point of getting into this room? We've gotten all the collectibles here. So what's in there to begin with? Oh, let's pop down here. Run around. Huh. Honestly, not sure. Not sure. And why is that blocked off still? Is it blocked off still? Maybe? Yeah, I can definitely grab onto this. But like, why? Very interesting. Is there anything in there? Is this its own sub zone? Path of restoration? No, I don't think it is. I'm so lost. Let me know in the comments what I'm missing there. Why is that still red? Is it red because there's a thing that, like, is that ball over there closing that off or something? I don't know. I have no idea. Although I'm feeling pretty good about having that five out of five. We got to find the other four collectibles there, but um, maybe maybe we should kind of venture this way first. I guess I well no I guess I could go downward. We can go from there. That's also a possibility. 